Are we good? All right. Welcome along. All praises, honor, and glory is always being to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak, Kodash, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, the creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of his Son, whom the world only calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that or not. We'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles of uh, the GMS Grand Millstone, who through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, being ruled. Well, and peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, again with 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect, whithersoever they be in the world, man, who are going to hear this message, as I said, wherever they may be, and, and, and receive it and return unto life, man. You see, going from the state of being beat down underneath Esau and his, and his beast system. To receive that immortal godly state at the coming of our king, man. You see? Going, going from death unto life. As, as it is written, man, Yahweh Shai. Uh, uh, actually, one of you brothers, let's start off in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 15. And start at like verse 18. And then we'll jump into uh, Ezekiel 47. 37. 18, I got you. Yeah. Oh. First Corinthians 15 and 18. Then they also, which are falling asleep in Mashiach, are perished. That one? Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. If in this life only we hope in Mashiach, we are we are of all men most miserable. Is that what you want? Okay. Thank you, Corinthians. Yeah, yeah. Keep going to where uh, you know, by 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 man, you know, uh you know, death came, you know, so by man also okay. came life. Uh, this is verse 21. First Corinthians 15 and 21. For since for since by man came death, you by see? man came also the resurrection of the dead. By man came death, and this then this is likened unto Adam. You see? By man, we've received the knowledge of sin, which we know mustered forth death, man. The wages of sin is death. You see? But we've been able to through Yahweh Shai reach that state of godliness once again, man. You see, through man again, Yahweh Shai came, he defeated sin in the flesh to be that perfect sacrifice to atone for, this, for the, the sins of the elect, man. You see, in order for us to be raised incorruptible, having those laws written within our heart and within our mind, so we'll be ruling in a state in which, you know, we'll have immortality, man. Uh -huh. You see, Yahweh Shai came forth and, and brought us life, man. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, we would be left to be dead forever, man. Mm -hmm. Not knowing who we are. And this is all proven. Everything Yahweh Shai did is all proven just by seeing all these different brothers throughout the four corners of the earth waking up and realizing who they are, man. Mm -hmm. Coming in, the, in, in, in all these different countries, all these different nations and their own tongues condemning their uh, government, man. Looking forth as Moabites, uh, Ammonites, Edomites, even. You see, Amalekites. I got that video too. Come on. <laughs> Just show a little clip of it. Just to show a little clip. Because, like, y'all love, y'all motherfuckers love to put that title of uh, black Hebrew Israelites on us, man. We we don't call ourselves blacks. Ain't, ain't nothing black about us, man. We are the Hebrew Israelites. And we're going to come from all different parts of the world, just like the brother said, looking like all the nations that we have been scattered to. But now get your garment, bro. You see, I'm gonna finish this verse. Do you want to play the? I'll play a, like a, just a small part, portion of the video if we can see it. Uh, so this is our First Corinthians 15 and 21. For since by for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. <laughs> yep, a man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. Meaning, meaning what, man? Come on, go be being being brought back to life. You see. Go ahead, brother. What's the proof of that? Us. Us being waking up to who we are. If it, was, if it wasn't for that, man, we would be in the world still doing whatever it was we were doing. Have a whole collection of J's on the wall. Nope. Whole collection of, you know, whatever it may have been, man. Blunt raps. <laughs> nope. You see, being cool with being dead. Being cool with being underneath the thumb of Esau forever, man. Until he's destroyed everything. You see? But it all goes back to the most High's promise, man. What did he say? 
He said that he's risen up a particular people to receive his law and his instruction, man. One of you brothers want to grab Second Ezra 9 and uh, uh, I believe verse 18. I'll go to finish this real quick. I'll do my go and take care of this. Seven? Gone. Yeah, go ahead and finish that real quick. Well, this is First Corinthians 15 and 22. For as in Adam all die, even so in Mashiach shall all be made alive. So as in Adam all, all die, because why? We've received the knowledge of sin, man. We've received, and, and, and who's been raised up to cause sin to prosper across, across the whole planet Earth, man? Esau, Edom. So in this world, we're being raised and groomed to receive death, man. But Yahweh Shai came forth to resurrect his people, man, beginning with the elect, beginning with the prophets, man. You see? And in turn, the whole lot of the elect, and in turn, after, 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 after destruction and after time, the entire planet Earth, mm -hmm. you see, the whole planet God, that... is going to be delivered through the resurrection of the elect, man. That's who Yahweh Yeh Shai came for. That's who are going to be raised incorruptible. And that's how the planet Earth is going to be made to prosper. Go ahead, Shabbat. Uh, oh, I was just going to say, and that shows uh, Yahweh's mercy, too, because... It's coming through through the same soul when you read that last verse, when you get deeper into the regeneration, you know, Adam and, and I was shy. God. You what? Balance. Balance. God. Adam calls death, you how was shy calls life. Yep, that's why it says what? I'm the first and the, and the last. I'm the alpha and the omega. Yep. The beginning of sin and the end of, the ending of death and the beginning of life, man. You know? God. And that's why that's why uh Solomon said he was revealed the beginning, the end, and the midst of times because that was that same soul as Adam in the beginning. Solomon was somewhere in the middle. Then Yahweh Shai, you see? I know there were more regenerations, but I'm just saying that's why he was able to say that, you know? Yep, yep, yep. God. You said 2nd Ezra 9? Yeah, 2nd Ezra 9. Just real quick. Oh, did, did, did you finish that, what you had, Halakia? Nothing. Oh, okay. Did you say verse 18? Come. Second Ezra 9 and 18. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that live, that now live, no man spake against me. Go, uh, go ahead. Keep going, brother. For, the next for then, slide. for then everyone obeyed but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves you see you see the the, the those who were created to receive this 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 unsearchable law man, to govern the planet earth have rid themselves selves of it receiving what man death being given into the hands of a perpetual corruptible seed, man. Esau, Edom, the harbinger of death, showing you no mercy, man. You see? But now, Yahweh Shai came forth to, to bring forth, forth that, that, that sacrifice to give us repentance and remission of sins, man. You see? That we can go ahead and start working at returning to that godly state that's going to be made uh, uh, uh you know, a hundred percent that has come in that. But go ahead, we could jump into that, Ezekiel uh, 47. Did you say you were going to show a video or something? Like? Yeah, I got some real quick. Just about, uh, go ahead. Like I said, how, they, how they try to come with us, the black Hebrew Israelites. We don't, we don't preach that. We, we preach that our people ask, can somebody grab uh, my head is unto me as a speckled bird, Bob Kishaw? Uh, Jeremiah 12 and 9. Uh, and before before you play the video, I'll, I'm going to grab Hosea seven eight after he grabs that. The Ephraim cake unturned. Fine, uh, get that too. That's 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 good. Because because you got these because they're trying to paint that narrative of black black black. No man. First of all, we're not black. We're different shades of brown. You know. 
Kind. And you also have our people who are going to come and look like the heathen nations, as we have been telling you, you see, for years, man. You got that, uh, Anah? Kind. Yeah, go ahead. This, is, this is Jeremiah 12 and verse 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds are round about, are against her. Come eat, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Well, the Most High said, who is the Most High's heritage, man? The Israelites, as it tells you in uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8, if I'm mistaken. The Most High's heritage is, uh, is, is Jacob. He says his heritage is, is, is as a speckled bird. You got the blue letter, or you just got, uh, no? Because you can go to that word speckled, it goes into different shapes, different colors, man. You see? Uh -huh. So I got it. Con, that's your part that you're bringing that out because uh, <coughs> in my Spanish Bible, it actually says it's a it's a bow of the air with beautiful colors in Spanish. You ain't even got to go into the blue there. <laughs> you see, so while we're bringing this out is because if you can see it, this brother here, this brother is an Israelite. Is he black? No, man. He looked like a straight up Edomite, man. But this man is an Israelite. How do we know? Because he's putting forth the works of faith, man. He's growing his beard out. He's calling on the name of Yahweh Hashem Shah. Only Israelites would do that, man. And he's doing it in truth and sincerity, man. He's not here to be guile or deceive. He's not trying to infiltrate. This man truly believes in Yahweh Hashem Shah and the word that's written. Only the Israelites would do that. And you're going to have our brothers and our sisters coming back looking like this man. But guess what? He's a Jake. You see? So let's play a little bit of the video real quick. Uh, did, did you want me to bring out the the um, the, uh, the lexicon on it? You, you, can, you can bring it out real quick. Go ahead. It's uh, H6641. Uh -huh. And the word is? Strong's H6641. Okay, I think they're going off a little bit on that one, but it says colored, varied, color what? Colored, very variated, speckled. Color variation speckled, meaning what? Israel's going to come at looking all different shades of everything, man. Mm -hmm. you see? All different kind of speckles, man. Speckles, spots, dashes, stripes. Yep. Yep. God, that like, mixed multitude. Yep. That's a mixed multitude. And really, and really, if I could say something real quick, brother Salaki, yep. really go. that the uh, uh you know judgment on us, man. You know, that's judgment, you know, that 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 was prophesied to hit us, man. You yep. know, that's part of the curses. Us to be scattered into all these nations. That's why Nehemiah was jumping on the Israelites for, you know, they couldn't even speak Hebrew anymore, man. They began to only speak the language of the Moabites. That's why Acts chapter 2 had all these Israelites gathered together. Because Acts came to pass after Nehemiah. You see, we began to, to, to be blinded by these heathen customs, man. Because the Heavenly Father gave us into their hands. You see, and now after the time of Yahweh Shai, brothers began waking up all the way back then. Mm -hmm. But it was prophesied that the earth would be, would, Esau would have his fullness <laughs> in his past cruel rule that he would have in today's day and age man underneath the, his whole beast system right. but during this day and age we would be quickened under who we were and prepared for the coming back of our king man and that's why you have this video right here the brother's about to play go ahead brother. so let's get let's get it real quick first and foremost all praises yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim mukah Quadash. I'm going to say uh, peace, blessings, citations, you know, to Akim, you know, pushing this truth, Shalom, you know, honors to the elders, double honors. You see? This man is coming up. And then he goes into the scriptures and, break, and breaks them down correctly, man. You see? So it's not no damn yeah. deck, man. We're going to come back looking like all different nations, man. As we have been telling, yeah. and watch and watch this major influx of this speckled bird come come to pass, man. You see, time the most I promise. So we can go ahead and start in Ezekiel thirty-seven. If y'all can, I bring out this that Hosea real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Con, con. Yep. 
And, and actually, uh, all I got two to bring out, one in Hosea, and real quick, is uh, this is Hosea 7 and 8. Ephraim, ha he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. You know what? You got some Ephraimites that's real dark. You got, uh, you got Which is Northern that's Kingdom. Right. That's, that's uh, for all the tribes, man. That's for all the tribes. Look at Blake Griffin's son. Blake Griffin's son is a, is a Levite. You see? But he looks like a looks, looks just like an Edomite, man. You see? So you got one, uh, one extreme of the spectrum that's going to be real light Israelites. You got the other end of the spectrum that's going to be very, very, very dark Israelites, man. Con. And that just adding to what you said, you know, these people are trying to demonize the, the Hebrew Israelites, calling us black Hebrew Israelites. And I, it's obvious that the, the true Hebrew Israelites were not all so-called black men, you know. And, and if I could just bring this out, and we'll I'll let you guys read that. This is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Right. So well, it's all about the spirit, man. It ain't about what you look like. Yep. If you can receive this knowledge, yep. then chances are you're an Israelite, man. Yep. And then, like I said, showing forth the works of faith, man. Doing what the most I told you to do. Only an Israelite would do that, man. A sincere is only a sincere Israelite would do that. A heathen ain't gonna do that. A heathen not, is not gonna seek to the most high because what? They the most high is not dealing with them, man. You see, God. only the Israelites is gonna turn and repent and come back to the heavenly father, man. Charles. Ready to get started. Charles gonna uh show this real quick too, because I just got back from <laughs> yeah, uh, breaking some bread with the brothers in Arizona, man. And they have a, uh, you know, a, a brother that looks, you know, he looks like an Edomite too, man. But he's, uh, you know, most definitely an Israelite. That's what you got to do, man. But, but, but the fact that 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 a majority of you people don't take heed and you cast it behind your back just proves the scriptures and proves that this thing is very spiritual, man. It proves that the Lord has to has to deal with you in the spirit, man. For you to get this thing, man. That's right. No, because that's what it's going to say. Uh, that that's right. Call hello, y'all. Bless you. What's up? Call hello, What he said is. But yeah, man. Yep. Con, what he said is what we just different. brought out, you know? And, and sizes coming in, man. Mm -hmm. All different shapes, sizes, colors. You see? This is why the scriptures talk about, uh, uh, you know, the body, right? And all the differences. Yeah, I need you, you. You are neither Jew nor Greek. This is talking about you Israelites who have been scattered across the planet Earth, man. Yeah, no. I'm just show. I'm just showing a picture of my nephew. You can't tell. This is dark, but his hair is blonde. His eyes are blue. And he, this is another yeah. example. You know. Get it. I know you Get it. Time. Time. So we, we don't do that black bullshit, man. You know? We're Con. bringing a lot from all nations through the spirit and poverty. How about you, shot, man? Even the, uh, even the uh, 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 Spartans mm -hmm. had uh, 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 Israelites mixed among them. You find that in the book of Sankey Maccabees, man. Con. And through the spirit, Akiam, I think we should just bring out the, the main points in 37. That's to, to address what the, uh, Gar was saying earlier, you know, because it's, you know, because, you know, we're going to pull out a lot of precepts off this I thing. Mean, you know what? Let's let's just get Acts, Acts, get Acts chapter two. Because that, that uh, you know, to show you, like, the diversity that's happening, it, it's not just going to be so-called Negroes. It's not just going to be so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. All the 12 tribes are going to be bought back from all the lands they have been scattered to, man. You see? They're going to be bought up of all nations they have been sold among, and they're going to come back to you. How about you? I was shot. Uh, here, I'll, I'll hit a couple key points in Ezekiel 37. I'll read, brother, if you want to break it down. All right, go on, go on. Go on. Uh, Ezekiel 37, and uh, uh, verse 2, it says, And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in an open valley, and lo, they were very dry, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered and said, O Lord, power, thou knowest. That's talking about what? The Israelites being raised back on their feet in these last days, man. This was this this is what's taking place. 
and they're going to come back from every way they have been scattered to. The remnant is going to wake up and return back into the Heavenly Father. The Most High has put it in their spirit to do that. You see? You got it, bro. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of, of the Lord. And that's why it says what? That, that uh, uh, That's why it's likened unto living waters, man. This word is living waters brought to us through Yahweh Shai, man. You see, because what, what what does water bring forth in general, man? If you have a garden, and you and you have you know just a, a, a continuous stream of water, you're gonna have life in that garden, man. You're gonna have a, an oasis. You see, Esau has created a goddamn desert underneath his jurisdiction, man. Underneath his power that he has, but through Yahweh Shai, we've received living waters, man. These dry bones receiving, being able to you know get that. You know, start getting a, a, a life returning unto them, not so dry, all coming together. It says, uh, verse, uh, uh, verse five. Where was that? Verse five. Come. Thus saith uh, Yahweh power unto these bones Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Mm -hmm. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you. And ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. And this is what ha this is what's happening right before your eyes, man. Most eyes breathing that breath of life into all to all of the remnant all throughout the earth, and they're living, man. How is the how is the breath been breathed upon them by hearing the words of the prophet? This is why we have to continue to do that work, man. You see, like the Most High tells us, Isaiah fifty five and eleven, his words his words do not go out void, man. We're not doing these videos for no reason. Whoever needs to see our videos is seeing our videos. And that seed of faith is being nourished through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemiah Washad, man. Now you have our brothers and sisters waking up all throughout the earth knowing and understanding what? They are the Hebrew Israelites, and our God is Yahweh Ba'a Shemiah Yahweh Shah. You got it. Uh, can I bring out this quick set? Uh. It's just because, uh, you know, you're reading about the breath of life into us. Well, in the same way that the, 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 that the you know, the awakening of Israel comes to pass, this is the same thing that happened to Adam in the garden. You know, this is Genesis 2 and 8. It says, and yeah, oh, I'm sorry, 2 and 7. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, power formed of the, the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. There it is. What's the breath That's of it. life, man? There's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. If you don't have this, man, you're a group beast. I was meditating earlier. I was in a fucking pet smart and they had all this different shit for the dogs, like junk and all this other shit. And I'm like, well, shit, an animal can eat anything. But the most high is given what? He's given us a dietary law to separate us, to separate man from beast. You see, we can't just go out here and eat exactly. anything we want to do because what there's a separation between man and beast. You, you only know that if you have the wisdom, not the understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And, it, and if you don't have that, you are a brute beast. Because you are just doing that's what you want to do. God, and that's why the heathen is likened unto beasts because the Israelites are the ones who have been given the law. Nope. 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 Yeah, so man, Yahweh Shai came forth, brought that uh, uh, sacrifice in order for us to be forgiven and brought back together, man. Because if he came, if he came to, you know, bring forgiveness for the simple things such as, you know, eating, you know, unclean meats and what have you, you know, that how much, uh, how much more for, you know, those who, you know, were, were consumed within these other heathen nations, man. You see? And that's the thing is you had, you know, you had, a, a, you know, you had this, this hatred, you know, between, you know, the Israelites in ancient times and between, you know, those who, you know, the prodigal son, so to speak, man, Israelites who, you know, began, you know, living in these heathen nations, taking on their customs. You see, and it really shows a lot of things how we're the same people, man, because I was, you know, talking to a couple of brothers about it, man, how you have, you know, uh, like on the movie Selena, where he tells, you know, he's telling, he's telling Selena, he's like, man, we got to be, you know, we got to work twice as hard to be Mexican, you know, for the Mexicans, and we got to work twice as hard, you know, to be American for the Americans, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, you would have the, uh, uh, you know, an Ishikarite, you know, speaking Spanish and, you know, all like, you know, in the in the culture, so to speak, you know, is going to show hatred 
you know, toward, you know, another Ishikarite who, you know, can't speak Spanish or, you know, who's, you know, may not speak it perfectly or whatever the case may be, man. You see? But Yahweh Shai came forth for all of you Israelites to be forgiven, man. Well, I mean, really, you know, to bring forth that forgiveness offered to you Israelites, but only the elect can be those that are able to receive it and come out of the world, man. Which again goes back into what Yahweh Shai said. There's no difference, or uh, what Paul said, there's no difference between, you know, Jew nor Greek, man. There's no difference between the Greek Israelite. There's no difference between the, the you know, Israelite who grew up within the customs, man. There's no difference for you Israelites who look like, a, you know, as they say, the darker the bear, the, the berry, the sweeter the juice, man. <laughs> There's no difference between the darker berry and the lighter shaded berry, so to speak, man. You see, Yahweh came to bring, you know, any of those berries to that point of perfection, man. You uh, see, even uh, the ones that look like Edomites. <laughs> got, got a precept for you. Come on, come on. This is Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye mm -hmm. are all one in Hamashiach Yehoshai. And if come. ye be of Hamashiach, then, ye, then are ye Abraham's seed. And heirs according to the promise. Yep. You see, Yahweh Shai came to bring forgiveness to the elect of Israel, whether so ever they be, man. Just because, just because you grew up within Greek customs or Roman customs or you know Mexican customs or Edomite customs or uh, 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 Hamite customs or or just black culture or whatever the case may have been, doesn't mean that you can't be forgiven, man. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you can't be forgiven. You see what I mean? Because yeah. basically, we're the most highest woman, man. We went off of warring to all these different nations, you know, and yet he's, 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 you know, brought us mercy, man. I guess I'm Khan brought us back into the fold. You know, one uh, thing I could, can I say just because, you know, well, I will, a statement I'll make is that, you know, we as, as our camp and the Hebrew is the GMS banner. We, we're, we are racist. You can call us racist because we know that the scripture says that we are above these nations. But one thing we're not is prejudice. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're racist. You can call us racist, but don't call us prejudice. Because through the spirit, we're going to figure out whether you're not an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They try the spirit by the spirit. That's right, man. We judge off the spirit. I mean, you know, just because you look a certain way don't mean you have that nation. But at the same time, the scriptures say, you know, how a man, you know, presents himself, you, you know, that's going to give you some ideas, man. If a man comes up, you know, acting or looking a certain way, that's going to give you an idea if he's dwelling with wisdom or not. Man. Huh. You see, okay. but just because he's a leper, don't mean he's an evil man. Huh. Go ahead, brother. I got Colossians chapter 1, verse uh, 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and light who have delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Man. And who brought us, translated us from darkness unto light, man. Uh -huh. You see, from death, from the, from the valley of dry bones to life. Go ahead, brother. And it's only for the saints. The saints are the Israelites according to the Bible, man. All people cannot be saints. You can only be a saint if you, you can only be a saint if you're an Israelite, let me know who the kingdom of heaven is for. So it goes in mm -hmm. verse 14, and whom, Colossians 1 and 14, and whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Uh, yep, through his blood, man, we've been redeemed and our sins are being forgiven and, 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 and at the coming of our king, man, we'll have, we'll be raised incorruptible and have them laws written within our hearts, man. This is all a story of, you know, vengeance and redemption, man. This is where all the main stories of the planet Earth get their inspiration from, is from this word, man. The ultimate story, every, to tie everything together, man. I got, I got something else for you, real quick. Oh, go ahead, bro. Because we're saying, like, no matter what you Israelites are, man, 
if, if this if this word resonates with your spirit, man, if, if, if it makes you feel some type of way in a good way and makes you uh, move to repentance, man, you are an Israelite, no matter what you may look like. So it, it goes on to say in Colossians chapter 1, verse 19, for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, talking about Yahweh Shah, and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether there be things in earth or things in heaven. And you, that was sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now have he reconciled. We see, he did that for you, Israelites, man. No matter where you are at, no matter what, no matter what you look like, no matter what you were into, Yahweh Shah has he went up on that cross to save you from that, man. You see, God. if you believe that and it moves you to faith, it moves you to repent and come back to who or what these scriptures say, you are an Israelite, man. Point blank, period. God. I got one real quick. This is uh, Daniel uh, 12 and 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And the wise is dealing with the, wis the wisdom of this truth. If, you can, if this truth resonates with you and you can receive it, even if you look like an Edomite, a so-called so white man, then, you know, if this... You can receive this truth, you know. We, you can, you may be an Israelite, you know. But hey, by the same token, you can look like a so-called black man, and if you can't receive this truth, hey, we're going to ask you: Is your daddy a, is your daddy a, an Edomite? Because you might be a terror. You know? Hey, at the end of the day, man, you, 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 you're, you're a heathen, whether that's spiritual or physical. Uh, you're not a heathen, man. You better hope that you're that you're, you know, uh, uh, you know, physically. You know that your seed goes back to that line, man. I got you. <laughs> but as far as on this side, you, you're gonna die. You're a heathen, nonetheless, man. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Either might death. Nope. <laughs> Fucking crap. Chocolate crap. <laughs> <laughs> so, Acts chapter two, verse five. Uh, yeah. Acts oh, let me let me hit a couple more verses real quick out of this Ezekiel uh, thirty-seven. Okay. Uh, it's all good. Uh, verse nine. Um, Ezekiel 37 and 9, it reads, uh, then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Uh, so like, I'm going to go to verse 8. It says, and I beheld, lo, and the sinews of flesh came upon them, and their skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Yeah, that, then, and, that, and that came about by what? By the preaching of the word. You say they, they came together and the flesh was upon them, but they didn't have the breath in them. You got a lot of people out here know they're Israelites, but they're not moving with the, uh, the spirit of faith. To what? To, to be moved to fully repent and come back to the Heavenly Father. They still want to just shalom and walk by the camp. They want to wave fringes everywhere, but not they, they, they not doing When they that. go by, they be like, huh? they be like, oh, I know about you guys. I know about you guys. And they keep walking. And they walk by, you know? As they, as they continue <laughs> to smoke that blunt. You see? But that that's 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 what uh, that is talking about right there. You have the flesh upon you and the sinews upon you, but you don't have the breath of life in you. You don't have you don't have the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah with Shah upon you. Keep going, bro. Verse uh, nine, it reads, and it's so like it then said, he unto me prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, thus saith Yahweh power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Come from the four winds, man, the north, east, south, and west. You see that? And that's what the Most High has done with his prophets. He has his prophets in the north, the east, the south, and the west, all throughout the earth. And they are prophesying, and that and that and that wind, that spirit, is it, 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 moving amongst the remnant of Israel and is bringing them back to life, man. No matter what you may look like, you can be in fucking East India right now. You see, making curry. If you hear this word and it resonates with you, man, you see, and it moves you to uh, to, to to call upon your high boss from shot to serve him. You are an Israelite. You can be in the deepest, dark, darkest corner of a goddamn fucking Buddhist temple in China, man. And if you hear this word and it moves you to repent and call upon your how about you, Shai, you are an Israelite, man. You see? You know, you know what that breath was, man? What's up? This is uh, Matthew 28 and verse uh, 19. This, this is the breath right here that went to uh, uh, north, south, east, and the west. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. There it is. Baptizing them in the name of the Father being Yahweh. And the son, being Yahweh Shai, 
and of the Holy Spirit, the Rakah Kodash, teaching bro. them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Yeah, and that's what happened, man. And now we've been scattered all throughout the earth, man. We all the way over here in Babylon. You got brothers all the way in Australia. You even got a brother in Japan, man, preaching the word in Japanese. You see? So that's that prophecy from the past. So what? The most I can wake up his people no matter where they may be at, man. That, that ain't coincidence Time. that you got brothers in, uh, in Romania speaking Romanian, in Germany mm -hmm. speaking German, in Holland speaking Dutch. You see? Mm -hmm. In the Netherlands. I think they speak Dutch too, if I'm mistaken. You uh, see? Yeah, you got in Italian. Nope, GMS Italian. Huh? Yeah. You see? This is uh, it's a lucky brother. You gonna say something else, sir? No, you good. Come um, say Ezra's two and uh, uh, eighteen for thy help. I will send my servants. Actually, I'm gonna jump up to verse uh, sixteen. It says, "And those that be dead will I raise up again from their places and bring them out of the graves. For I have known my name in Israel." How 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 was that done, man? By the prophets pre us preaching, and that goes into what the Valley of Dry Bones, who is dead. Amongst all these heathen nations we were living amongst, the most I had the prophets going to highways and byways, and that and that spirit has flooded the earth, man, to go inside the minds of the dead Israelites, spiritual dead Israelites, to 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 uh fucking reignite our minds, man, to have us move to mm -hmm. repentance to serve you how about Shimia shot. Like I said, no matter what you no matter what you look like, you can be in fucking Russia, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Blind hair, blue eyed Russian, man. But if this word gets up in your mind and it, it causes you to repent and serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you are an Israelite. Because can nobody else serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah except for the Israelite? Yep. Uh, so we've been getting into the hand of these heathen, man. Yep. To amongst all these heathen nations. And so you're going to have repentance mm -hmm. among those nations, man. Of course, you know where the main show is going to be is here in the Americas. The worst place on fucking earth. But you're going to have Israelites among all these nations, man. Kind the, I, I that, got one real quick. After you're done speaking, it got to be fulfilled. Let me read this. Uh, let me just finish this off real quick. Shabbat. Verse uh, uh, 18 it says, For thy help, I will send my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah, after whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee 12 trees laden with diverse fruits. He's going to send us the prophets to do what? To bring us back into remembrance. Like it tells us in Jude, man. Though we once knew this, now it's going to be brought back into our remembrance. The knowledge had to be drawn out of us, and that's why he set up leaders, man. That's why he set up our uh, our forefather, uh, Abba Bivens, man. That's why he set up Chim Asha, High Priest Ariah, High Priest Yaquab, and they and they taught who? The other uh, Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Bar, the Apostle Arakan, the Apostle Ramla, man. And they taught those elders, the elders up under them, and it trickled down, man. You see, and here we are today. Yeah. Having the breath of life uh, upon us, and we're returning back into our power as is prophesied, no matter what yeah, we look uh, like. And likened it to a you tree. See, man. You see, exactly. so, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, they, 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 they teach you when you draw a tree, man, that you gotta, in order to draw a tree, you just basically draw a bunch of Y's. So you draw a Y, and then you draw a Y off of that one. And that, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So off of all, these, all these branches, you have many more branches and branches just creating this whole. You know, tree of life, man. <laughs> it's all a tree. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is divine, you know? And, what, and what, what did that seed start, man? It started with Adam. That seed of Adam grew all the way past the flood. And now here it is right now, flourishing, man, in the end of the world. Yep. You now you've had this, uh, now you've had this tree pop up, branches been broken off. Yep. All kind of different. But now you have these different branches being brought back in. Yep. Crafted it in. Crafted it back into the tree. branches been broken and now they're coming up. You have this branch came up over here. This branch came up over. Now it's, it's, it's creating this tree back in its perfection, man. Yep. You see? Yep. <laughs> see so it all ties together. It ties yeah. into Romans 11. Yep. You see, you yep. really you can just make an endless lesson and just keep going till tomorrow. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going, it's going to what, man? Being sold back into that tree of the sons of the Most High, man. Because it all goes back to the sons of the Most High before the flood, man. Where that same seed preserved through Noah. And Shem passed down to what Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Here we are. You see? This is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> you got it, bro. You got some more on that one? You got some more on that Ezekiel, bro? Uh, I, I want to read just like two more verses out of there, but I think Shabbat had a precept. 
Right, you, got, you got you're still reading Ezra though, right? Uh no, that that was it, brother. Go ahead, pull you pull yourself oh, up. Okay, okay. No, I was just gonna say, hey, you know, we cause because the last verse we read in Ezekiel spoke about the four winds, and you know, the true the true life, this eternal life is gonna be is be gonna be accomplished during the gathering. All right. So this is uh, Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall together, they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the, he the heaven to the other. Why is he going to have to do that, man? Because Israel is scattered. That's what you have to understand, man. According to those curses, Deuteronomy 28 64. Most I told us he was going to scatter us amongst all nations for our disobedience. So he, he told us that back during the time of Leviticus. He told us God. that. Because you have, you have a, 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 a version of the curses back in Leviticus 26. Oh, uh, yeah, Leviticus 26, man. The most I tell you that back then, man. You see? Uh, so so these, these men were in darkness who are teaching that all the tribes are so-called blacks. Yep. You know, they're, they're literally going against the nature of the so-called black man, man. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because what's the nature of Israelites? Fruitful. You know, we like to, we like to pop our women, right? So, hey... It's, it's you're in true darkness if you can't see that, that the Israelites are going to look like every single nation, man. Yep. You, you, think you got shit fucked up. You think ain't Jake ain't amongst the Edomites smashing the Edomites. God. You think Jake ain't amongst the Elamites smashing the Elamites. You think Jake ain't amongst the Ishmaelites waxing the, the Ishmaelites, man? Come God. on. Are you, you go to, all you got to do is go to your family cookout, and you know Jake's bringing over their Edomite women, their fucking... Arab women, the yep. fucking Moabite women. Yep. I mean, those kids, yep. they all look like all the nations, man. Like, it's ignorance, you know? Yep. Pure darkness and ignorance. If you and can't see that? that, this speckled bird. And why is that? Because they got, the flesh upon them. Them. they got the flesh upon them, but they ain't got the breath of life in them. That's that's what it goes back to. You see? You got it, bro. You can finish that in Ezekiel. Now, I'll just jump to Acts 2. We can get a few more. Kyle, hey, Kyle, let's uh, my, my whole uh, Isaiah 11. Time. This is Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came in them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. This is what's uh, happening, man. That's the remnant of Israel. Because all Israel ain't gonna get it. As it tells you, what's, that's, what's that? Romans 11. You see that only the, the election have attained it and the rest were blinded. Mm -hmm. So only that, only that remnant is gonna be brought back to the true understanding of, of what we're supposed to be doing, man, what our purpose is. You see, and, and, and to serve Yahweh by Shemi Awashai, the, the rest of Israel is not going to do it, man. You got it. Uh, verse 12 reads, therefore, prophesy and say unto them, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, O my people, I will open your graves. Remember we, what we just read out of his uh, uh, second Ezra 2. Uh, I will open thy graves. Actually, I'll grab it again after this verse. And cause you to come up out of your graves and bring into you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahweh. And this goes hand in hand with this that in prophesied in uh, uh, Luke, the 24th chapter, man, that the, the, the land of Israel would be trodden under the foot by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, man. But our king is coming to, to, to conquer the Edomite and bring us back into our land, man, bring us right. out of these graves. From all over the earth, bro. From all we, over the earth. We spiritually been brought to life, man. You see? That's why you see us waking up wherever we may be. Yep. But now we're physically going to be resurrected, man. Uh, so I um, got yeah, You have some more on that? Yeah, let me just read those last one. It says, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. When I have, the whole world is going to know in that day, man. Yep. When I have opened your graves, oh, my people. Just like they did when in the first Exodus, they knew all these heathens knew who our power was, man, because he just defeated the, you know, the God of the Egyptians. Egyptians. Being and now he's going to destroy the God of this world being Esau. All these different nations have fought, you know, to, to liberate themselves of this devil and haven't gotten anywhere, man. He's going to choose us. We don't even got a place in the, in the, in the, the world council. <laughs> he's going to choose us to overcome this devil, man. That shows you all glory is going to be given unto him. Uh -huh. Just like with Gideon in the 300. You see going on, it says, <clears throat> David and Goliath, it says, when I have opened your graves, oh my people, and have brought you up out of your graves. 
It is, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be risen up in these all through your house shot sacrifice. We're gonna be risen up in the land of our captivities all throughout the earth, looking every type of way as a speckled bird, and we're gonna return to our power, man, and cleave unto him as the remnants prophesied to do, according to Isaiah chapter 10, starting at 20, man. We're gonna receive new bodies anyway, right? We're gonna get that we're gonna get that, that royal color back, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that brother right there, that brother like an Edomite, he gonna he gonna probably one of the darkest brothers in the kingdom, bro. <laughs> time, time, and, and really that, that's why uh, in Hosea 7 8 when I read Ephraim is a cake unturned you know if you look like a so called uh, what, what you would call a so called Mexican or so called uh, Native American you know really that that's like a it, it, it's shameful because originally the tribes were all so called black men dark skinned men you know but because Ephraim mixed hey we we start looking like the way we look now, you know? Yep. yep, and that's where that saying comes from, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice, man. But, you know, in this world, you'd be saying that, and you don't even realize that, you know, the only reason why that berry's dark is because, you know, his daddy was an Edomite, and, you know, <laughs> you know go, going down the sea line, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, the taskmaster done took, took our, you know, great-grandmother. Yep. Or, you know, their great, you know, because that'd be a terror, but. Man. So, so the shows of the flesh doesn't show a damn thing. Man. It's oh. all in the spirit. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was going to say that that's uh, Matthew 13 and 28. Okay. Acts chapter 2, we're going to start at 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now, when that was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Mm -hmm. This this was prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. You see, Jews, devout men out of every nation, man. So all the way back to Nehemiah, who had the Israelites couldn't couldn't speak fluent uh, uh, Hebrew, man. Mm -hmm. You see, so through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai, the spirit started to come back to us, man. We began to, to, to strive for repentance. You see, but it wasn't time yet, man. Esau still had to come into his fullness of his power in today's day and that we're living in now, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, it's time. You see? So now, just as during the time of the Acts, you see the spirit was coming back into them. They, they all went to go take part in the, uh, I believe it was the uh, uh, Feast of Dedication. Right, brother? Isn't, isn't that what they're doing, the Feast of Dedication? Uh, the, uh, this was Pentecost, right after the Passover. <laughs> Come, come, come. Yep, yep. So, yeah. We're talking about to come into in a couple of days. Pentecost. Uh, you know? So uh, right. it, goes on, it goes on to say Acts chapter 2, verse 7. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how come. hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes, and Elamites, and dwellers in Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, and Egypt, and in parts of Libya about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High. So Israelites among all these nations, man. All of these nations were able to receive sentence. Now, this just proves to you who Paul was going to, man. The Israelites scattered. The Israelites were scattered because after Yahweh Shai was crucified and the Spirit came onto these people that were being preached repentance. They repented. Now they repented and they were who? Jews from all these different nations come to take part in the holy days of, uh, of our power, man. Yep. Not no goddamn Saturnalia. You probably had, you know, gatherings for Saturnalia in that time too, man. Yep. And so you had the, the same two-third niggas in this time. Yep. I'm not uh, God. Uh, East Con, Faith, as I, we speak. Go ahead, man. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. You start at, you start at 10. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, 
which shall stand for an ensign of the people. Are you just to saying eat. Like Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. That's that's who the Gentiles are seeking for, man. Assert or looking to. You know that root of Jesse, the Yahweh Shah, the Lord and Savior, man. You got it, bro. To it shall the Gentiles seek, mm -hmm. and his rest shall be great, glorious. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh Bashim Shai shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be shall be left. He said he's going to set his hand again the second time, man. When was the first time the Most High gathered the heathen nations? You see? These are things that you Christians love to skip over, man. When did the uh, Most High gather his people, I mean, gather the first time the heathens? This is talking about when the Most High gathered his people from Egypt the first time. He's going to set his hand again the second time to cut, recover the remnant of his people. Go ahead, bro. From Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble, assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Yeah. So he's going to gather his people again the second time, you see, out of all nations they have been scattered to, man. Is it is it common sense to think that all nations gonna come back dark skinned? I mean, that all the Israelites gonna come back dark skinned, man. That ain't that ain't that don't make that that makes no sense that they scattered amongst the Egyptians, the Elamite, which is the uh, the East Indians. You see, you know they you know they scattered amongst the Moabites and the uh, Ammonites. You know they scattered amongst Esau. So it makes no sense to say that all the twelve tribes of black man Negro. That shit makes no sense. Uh, that, uh, I, I got. How do you even tell you that? How are they uh, gonna be? All nations, man, or why, Salaki? Why are they going to be gathered from all nations? Because you have, uh, uh, you know, a uh, repentance. You see, you have brothers repenting within those nations, man. Why? Because you have the Most High has raised up men throughout all these different nations, man. Just like you had in Acts the second chapter. You see, using the power of these tongues to reach these different uh, people, man. Well, you have a brother in Italy, you see, the brothers in Africa, the brothers in Australia, the brothers in all throughout the planet, man. Time. See, and if it's, I it's being fulfilled as we speak, man. These men getting up and repenting throughout these nations, we're seeing it. And now these are going to be the same individuals if they endure to the end to be gathered from those nations how the brother was just reading. So really, man, you should be terrified if you're coming across this lesson and you ain't repenting, man. God. You ain't, you ain't, uh, 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 you know, getting right in choosing your side, man. God. Go ahead. God. I was just going to say, you know, the, the, the more time that passes, the more these Israelites who, who you know, don't, do not look like so-called black men, you know, they're going to be waking up and this is why now, right now, in the beginning of this awakening, Esau, Edom, he's able to demonize and call us the black Hebrew Israelites. And here, here's, here it is, the reason why. This is uh, Zechariah 12 and 7. Because as we know, hey, our, our, our elders, the, uh, you know, especially our elders' elders, they were uh, what you would call a so-called black men who were Judites. It's uh, Zechariah 12 and 7. Yahweh also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. So, you see, the, the, the school, the one west, hey, that was predominantly Judah. I know that, you know, I believe Apostle Gabar has mentioned that he's a Benjaminite, but you see, he learned from Judites, you see? So, so right now, Esau is able to just Say, hey, these are the black, black Hebrew black, Israelites, black, you know? Kind, kind. But, but, but when you know, as kind, as we keep growing and learning, hey, we 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 it's clear to us 
that Israel is going to look like all the damn nations, man. What, what are you going to do? What, what are you going to do when you got some brothers out there standing, listening to the camp, looking like, looking like uh, so-called yeah. Chinese men with Bibles in their hand? Oh. What, are you going to, what, are you, what kind of shit are you going to say then? He gonna have some East Indian yeah. with the Bible straight up gate. He's gonna he's gonna arrest them and say Black mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelites were arrested downtown today. Yo, <laughs> so some dudes, uh, yeah, 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 like a, just, just like a damn Moabite. Nope. Kinda, kinda. No, kind of, kind of. And hey, that's we got a we got a, we got a brother in our camp that uh, that you know that uh, has children who who look like what you would call uh, you know Asians. You know, call y'all his his kids. Uh, they look like uh, you know they're they're Filipinos, but Filipinos look like Asians. You see, or they are Asian, but yeah. through the spirit, they're also they're they're Israel. You know, King David's uh, grandmother was a uh, Moabite man. Oh, Ruth. Uh, Ruth, Ruth, yeah, so called Chinese woman. Uh, yeah. You see, and that's and that's something we got to get straight too, man. You know, Numbers one eighteen. You see, our our our, our uh, uh, you know the the seed. You threw through your father's house what declares who you are, man. That's why when you go into Matthew, the first chapter goes into the whole genealogy of the men. You go into Genesis, all these genealogies. You don't see, when have you ever once seen a genealogy of women's names? Not one time, man. Not one time. Man. You know, Not one time. <laughs> it's crazy that you bring that up because I was uh, reading an article about fucking Dragon Ball Z and they was talking about Gohan and Trunks, how they... Uh, half sin and half uh, half sand and half human. I'm like, no, they full of sand because Goku is saying and Vegeta is saying. So that makes them full of sand. And that and that just shows you like, bro, the heathen have no idea what's going on. You can't be half of nothing. You are what your father is. You know what I'm saying? And now and, and that was I caught myself, I'm like, bro, I'm putting scriptures on everything. Mm -hmm. and, and why why is it that way? Because the the Edomite he he, he nope. teaches confusion. Mm -hmm. He he by design he he you know he he let that let the people be in darkness as far as uh you know your race is determined by your father's seed line, you know. I, I made a fucking he wants to tell, you, you do a DNA test, he's gonna tell you you're like 25 well, different it, nations and shit. That, yeah. I met, I met a I met a Persian chick the other night and I was talking to her, she was like, Yeah, I'm 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 half Persian, half white. I was like, What's your what, what's your father? And like, you know, I ain't I ain't tell her I was an Israelite and I was like, she was like what's your father? She's like, Oh, he's he's Iranian. I'm like, he's a Persian. She's like, Yeah, I'm I'm a half. I'm have a person to have white. I'm like, no. In my mind, I was like, nah, you you fucking uh, Persian. Elamite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You uh, are Persian. You know what I'm saying? That's what your father is. You know? But and, that's uh, that we have that breath of life that we can break that down and, and tell somebody, no, you are what your father is, man. Ain't no such thing as mixed. You know what I'm saying? That's and, uh, some verses I want to bring out from Matthew uh, 13. Do, do we have some time? Cut, cut. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 13, verse 30. Let both, grow, and this is talking about the tares. This says, uh, let both grow together into the harvest. And in that time of the harvest, I will say unto the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in the bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat unto my barn. Jumping down to verse 37, it says, uh, he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that has sown them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burnt in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. And what did uh second Ezra uh nine and uh nineteen say, man? The world's been corrupted by perpetual seed. You see, this perpetual seed has corrupted the planet Earth, man. You see, and the heavenly father is gonna come but wherever this seed has been and that's what's funny, man, because Esau, oh, we're gonna start with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans for the vaccination. Hey man, my, I'll tell you right now, my birth certificate says white. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So Esau, Esau could try to get us, you know, in, in whatever way he wants to bring forth, but he can't do it, man. You yeah. know, he can't do it. But the most high is beyond Esau, man. We yeah, are gonna yeah. pull out every single piece of that perpetual seed 
and remove it in order to have peace on earth, man. Because the thing yeah. is, yeah, Paul, that you bring that out because my first certificate also says that uh, I'm a so-called white man. Yeah, I was laughing, man. I was like, you saw it. <laughs> I was like, you, you there ain't no, there is no way he's gonna get the Israelites, man. That shit on your birth certificate, and you ain't got, you don't get none of the benefits of that shit. Nope. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but the thing is, that goes for spiritual terrors, which two thirds are spiritual terrors. And also the physical tears, man. The spiritual tears are going to be burning the fuck up right around with the physical tears, man. The only thing is, the spiritual tears are going to be back in the kingdom of heaven and they write, and they write mine. Your spiritual tears, you're going to wake up and you're going to be fully, full-fledged, no-color having Edomites, man. Tom, <laughs> Tom, because what did it say, man? That the earth's been corrupted by a perpetual seed. Yep. So he's corrupted everything. All you nations, man. Everything. All the nations. He's corrupted the animals. The plants even, man. You see? So this perpetual seed has corrupted even two-thirds of you Israelites, man. So two-thirds of you Israelites are going to die right along with him because that, that is your father. And that's what you're solidifying by taking his vaccination and his MOB that he's going to be, you know, uh, forced on you, man. You see? That that mark, that RFID chip, you're going to be solidifying yourself that this man is your is your father. Uh-huh. Not the Most High, because the Most High told you not to. Uh-huh. But the elect... Are going to be standing firm in that man that the most high told him not to so you know that's our father man we're gonna to listen to our father while you do whatever you're gonna do man yep i got uh i got something we can wrap up on okay so this is just so 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 what 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 you who are listening to this take from this lesson man it don't matter what you look like if these words resonate with you man you see if you believe upon this word if you believe upon your howard shot you can only do that <laughs> if you're an israelite man you can't do that if you're a heathen nation mm-hmm. You see, it's not allowed, the heathen nation are not set up to believe upon the Heavenly Father or His only begotten Son. So if you're hearing this, it's resonating with you. It makes you feel some type of way in the spirit and it causes you to repent and start to do the things the most I say to do. You see, you are an Israelite, man. You see? So it goes on to say, this is a Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass when all things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all nations where the Yahweh thy God have driven thee. This is what's happening right now, man. We're calling all the things to our mind amongst the heathen nations that we have been scattered amongst, man. Even you brothers and sisters that's going to wake up amongst all the heathen nations all throughout the earth, man. You see? Most I say as well, verse 2. And shalt return unto Yahweh thy God, meaning what? Repent, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command command thee this day, and thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahweh thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahweh thy God have scattered thee. You see? But you have to repent, man. It's all about repenting and come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Verse 4 says what? If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, north, east, south, and west, all throughout the earth, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And Yahweh thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And this is what we're fighting for, man. And that's why we're doing this work, so we can sort of work hey, like the most I told Ezekiel, prophesy upon these bones, man. You see? We're doing this so the bones can be brought back into the fold, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Verse 6 says, And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, thy power, will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. You see that? And that's beginning right now. It's going to fully happen forevermore up under that second covenant in the kingdom of heaven, man, which is only for the Israelites, no matter how they may look right now, because at the end of the day, we're all going to be changed into those new bodies, man. You're going to put off that leprous flesh, man. You see? You're going to put off, hey, if you if you like an Edomite, you're going to put off that leprous flesh. If you like an uh, Elamite, a Hamite, or whatever it may be, the most I'm going to give us even our if, even- look back as Israelites, man. Uh, even if you look like a so-called Mexican or a so-called native Gadite, you're na- I mean a so-called Native American, oh, that's you know, a- you're gonna be 
we're gonna be hey we're gonna be having uh hair like wool like our king we're gonna be uh you know big we're gonna be big darker big. Hey, even the uh, most can, can you, hey can you picture me with a big afro man you guys can see God, i can't even even God, even God. the most the the most judite looking judite in today's day and age isn't gonna do justice into what we're gonna look like, man. Even he is gonna receive a new. And the thing is, what do they really look like? We don't know. You know what God. I'm saying? Probably tall. Tall, you know. That. Probably tall. <laughs> but but God. we don't. We, we really don't know. We we know we Israelites, but we we have been so far, so fucking diluted. You see, amongst all these nations, man, we we don't know. You know, God, I got I got a a couple closing steps, Akiam, if you guys don't mind. This is uh, Daniel 9 and verse 7. O Yahweh, righteousness belongeth unto thee, mm -hmm. but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and that are far off through which all is, the countries. Which is shame, man. Mm -hmm. confusion God. of face and pain so you know part of that shame being what looking like these heathen nations oh, because we we're God. supposed to be above these heathen nations now now you've been you know you've been Angels. cut down to look like them man so what is the most I you know, being burnt up by the sun and shit man <clears throat> having to put on God. sunscreen just to just to just to go outside and you know if you want to go swim in the you know in the pool you gotta you know take precautions so your ass don't get sended up by the sun man Bro, I don't know how many times I've been called, like, people thought I was like an uh, Arab, you know what I mean? They thought uh, I was, a, you know, <laughs> they thought I was a heathen. But no, let me finish this off. Shit, this is, uh, having that ass, you know what I mean? God. <laughs> Colonizer God. shit. <laughs> uh, the, the, move, uh, moving on, on a Daniel 97. Like a melon in, 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 a, in general is a curse, man. So like you go ahead. God. No, no, that's that's a good point. Uh, that was uh, the mark that Cain was the Yahweh put on Cain. You know, he took away his uh, his melanin and leprosy. You know, the, thing, the most I told us what not to give our daughters over to these heathen man. You see, because that was gonna cause confusion because you're gonna bring in four children that look like Israelites, but they was really heathen. Man. You see, God. Yep. Um, this is uh, verse seven in the middle. It says, to, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to all Israel that are near and are, that are far off through all the countries, whither thou hast driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. O Yahweh, to us belongeth confusion of face to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers because we have sinned against thee. Look. But now the most I was gonna bring us, he's bringing us back, man. He's bringing that remnant back. You see? So wherever you are, man, brother or sister, man, just just hey, repent, believe upon your Howard Shah, man, and do what's right according to what's written in these scriptures, man. You see, keep that faith, keep that hope, man, and your Howard Shah is coming to save us, man. And he every problem that we have, man, is gonna be solved by hey, by our Lord and our Savior, our King, man, your Howard Shah Mashiach. You see? Brother said anything. God. Uh, nope. I just had, I don't know if we have a, a time for another example of a, a life. Bring it out. Bring it um, out. No, <laughs> this, is, this is the brother uh, Amawan from Philly. Let's see, let me turn it up right away. Come on. They all came in the least greatest thing. This man is the great power of God. Right. The end they had regard because they, the wrong time he had bewitched them with sorcery. See, no, so, so like we've been saying, man, that black bullshit, that's Esau's witchcraft, man. We are not the black Israelites. We're just the Hebrew Israelites. We're going to come looking like all colors. Somebody get that. Let's wrap it up on that uh, speckle bird one. That last one, and we'll close it out. God, God, and that's your, that, that shows you how his power and his wisdom and his glory. Hey, he's got, he can make. Israel look like all the fucking nations, man. And still know where everyone over met. Kai, Kai. It's all through the spirit, baby. It ain't about that color of your skin. It ain't, ain't it's about, about your spirit. Color, man. Hell, what you eat, Mike?
You see? Jared Carr. So just read Jeremiah. Oh, it's a lot Jeremiah 12 and 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. And that's what they're trying to do, man. You see, but ain't no stopping this, man. This is all of Yahweh Bashmi Awashah. He's going to bring his sons and his daughters back unto him. No matter where they may look like, no matter where they may, may, may be scattered to, the Most High is going to gather his remnant, man. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashmi Awashah. So with that, we will give our praise. All honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit of Father Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And a sincere piece of salutation to all you who are I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh has commanded you to do so you can wake up and sincere the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, man. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. With that, we're going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba. Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba. 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 And just to real Abba. quick, did you already stop it? No, 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 go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, if you look at this screen, man, you got three confusion of faces, three speckled birds here, you know? The brother Halakia looks like more the the, the, the 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 true image of the Israelite, you know. Mm -hmm. Just testifying in our own camp, it says that you have examples, you know. That's mm -hmm. it. Don't let don't let Satan come in and try to tell you it's about black man. It's hey, it's about the spirit. That's all that matters. You see, and so with that we're gonna say shalom. Shalom, Baba Boss. Mm -hmm.